It's fair to say this channel pays very little attention to what the pros are doing and in fact my golf bag setup couldn't be any more different than most of them. But in recent months I saw a club in the bag of Dustin Johnson, one of the biggest hitters on the planet. That's, uh, well to be honest with you, a club that I would normally associate with being, well, I don't know, for an average golfer or even a high handicapper. And the good news is, I've managed to get my hands on one. Right, perfect opportunity and the perfect place that I would use this club. You see, Dustin Johnson has a nine wood in the bag. Yes, a nine wood, and that's a, in addition to a seven wood that's already there. The question is why Dustin? So my thought process, well it's a very simple one. If it's good enough for DJ, it's good enough for me. Or is it? So first of all, talking about the head profile itself, it's very much obviously a fairway wood, but it sits between, I would say, the sort of larger fairway wood and a hybrid. So it's perfect in terms of confidence for me at least to address and it presents plenty of loft which is always again something that I think just resonates in the head and that uh, you think that it's easier to get airborne and uh, we shall see if that is the case or not and then the shaft length itself it's 41.25 inches and as I always say on the channel the sort of closer you are to that ball the shorter length the shaft is the greater control you have and then again that resonates back in confidence so from a looks perspective it really does do everything you want and then builds into that confidence factor as well. The first question that I'm asking myself and you will also need to work this one out is as a nine wood, how far does this club actually carry for me? Don't forget, 25 degrees in terms of loft, but I've no idea with that kind of bulk and head mass what it is gonna do in terms of carry distance. So that's what we need to work out. And I'm gonna do that out here on the course and. From what I've hit so far, I'm certainly getting a rough idea and it's probably a lot different than I expected. Roll out, roll out. I can tell you the loss in fact was 24 degrees, not 25 as I just stated and uh, well let's Equivalents are kind of in a modern day set of irons, it's, you're looking around a five iron, certainly in a comparable product on my loft on my five iron, but I can tell you one thing, it flies nothing like my five iron, and it probably travels nothing like my five iron in terms of carry distance as well. In fact, it goes a lot further than I was expecting. Well, that's an unreal flight. The ball has flown off the club face. Has it got the carry? Oh, it's well and truly got the carry. Yeah, we're right up there. And yet again, the thing that sort of surprises me about this thing, and uh, I've still not sort of confirmed exactly what I think it does in terms of yardage, but uh, all I can say is far different than my five iron equivalent. And there's absolutely no way whatsoever that I am hitting five iron or four iron for that matter from that lie and to where that ball has just finished. So clearly, there's some major benefits and uh, I'm not sure why DJ's got one in the bag, but I certainly know why it's a real possible option for well, plenty of average golfers out there. Well, there's a couple of things that interest me. First of all, we've just played this par five with two nine woods and we've got 90 yards into the flag. So the first interesting thing is as average golfers, we can sometimes overcomplicate the game. Uh, driver can be very dangerous off this tee. That nine wood, even though it was a little bit guidey and not the best of shots, it got me in a position another one of those and like I said 90 yards in so first of all again going back to the versatility of this club it's got the kind of distance that would almost enable you to get round off the tee in most situations when you're not quite confident with your driver but the other thing being like I said is sort of that what I am noticing is I'm getting around a 190 carry on this thing on average maybe just a little bit more as well now for me that would be in sort of my four iron sort of area now I would say would struggle to flight the ball like I just did with that uh, nine wood. So then you've got issues like, can you stop a four iron into a green at 190 with the kind of flight that I can generate, as opposed to can you stop that nine wood, which is coming in from out of the clouds. So yeah, so many different sort of variables to consider. And uh, you can see why in Dustin's hand, he must send this thing into orbit and it's coming down and stopping, probably different than he can stop his, uh, again, whether that's his 
whatever six iron, seven iron equivalent it would be. I don't know for him. Anyway, let's see if we can birdie this par five with two nine woods. And that's got to go. That's got to go. Oh, no, it's perfect. Right, okay, so we want some feedback in terms of that comment section. The question I have for you is this, is what is your perception of a nine wood in general? So forgetting I'm looking at this stealth product right now, but what has been your opinion, uh, viewpoint on nine woods? Because for me, it's always been that thing of, uh, well, certainly a high handicappers club. You see it in the uh, kind of like older gentleman's bag, I suppose. Uh, with the slower swing speeds, that kind of thing. But clearly, and again, with this sort of, um, I don't know, Dustin putting one in the bag, it changes mindset, changes opinion. So I just wondered, what are you thinking right now? Well, the one last thing we've not considered is uh, the versatility of the nine wood in uh, the, its ability to play from out of the rough. And um, yeah, I'm not taking this from a really heavy lie, but it's a type of place where I'd be choosing. The options are really hybrid, or a long iron and um, yeah I'll be really interested to see how this thing or whether or not it manages to pop this ball and what kind of ball fight we get. For me uh, like I said long iron I'm expecting a much flatter ball flight I'm over 200 yards out but I'm seeing a lot of loft like I said on this club and it's just giving me that confidence to think this thing is going to get um, out of this rough lie a lot easier than a long iron equivalent would. Oh wow, well I've pulled it down the left hand side a bit but the ball flight is just incredibly different. We've gone, I'm sure Shot Trace will pick that one up, we've gone towards the two left hand bunkers and arguably online that would have chased up as not being too far away but the interesting bit was uh, I, my swing pulled it down the left hand side but the way it launched the ball out of the rough was uh, yet again, as everything has been with this club so far, really really impressive. Right, so before I hit my final tee shot of the day with this nine wood, there's one thing that I've noticed which I think is really important that I should uh, reiterate the point is that in terms of this travel distance, carry distance rather, I'm finding, like I said, in and around that sort of 190, maybe even a little bit more. And the thing you've got to be careful of is that when I hit a, uh, my four, five and possibly even six iron, I generally find that I don't get much gap in because of the club head speed that I generate, they all seem to travel very, very similar distances and it all tightens up at that top end of the bag in terms of my irons. And I think there's a lot of similarity passed into those woods. So when you're looking at perhaps five, seven, nine wood, there's not a huge gap between them all. So all I would say is if you are considering or interested in putting a nine wood in the bag, just be very careful that you're not putting it in and covering a yardage that you've already got, uh, got covered in your bag already. So as ever, it's important to try these out and make sure you work out what that distance is. Because for, for, for me right now, the difference between a nine wood and a seven wood is marginal. And I certainly wouldn't put both of them in the bag and I'd be working out which one sort of fits in my bag and covers a gap comfortably. I hope that makes sense. Right, last tee shot of the day. Tight one, par four, exactly the type of place you want to be using a nine wood. That high ball flight. It's going to come down right in the middle of the fairway. It's an easy club to control. It's that short shaft. It's got plenty of loft. We're a bit down breeze. Perfect club yet again to be playing. And I think, like I said, give it some careful consideration. We know why uh, it would work in DJ's bag. I think it would work in a lot of bags of average golfers. If we can, again, drop the stigma that is attached to these type of clubs and get used to playing them in the bag. Anyway, as ever, Thank you for watching. Your feedback, as ever, is welcomed. Have you got a nine wood in the bag? Are you turning your nose up at a nine wood? And what are your thoughts after my review of uh, DJ's secret weapon? Right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all very soon.